Tonight in Chile Stillwater, it is the Bedlam Series winner take all for the Big 12 title. Saturday Night Football on ABC, presented by Walmart. Part of ESPN's Rivalry Series, presented by Jiffy Lou. Oklahoma and Oklahoma State, ancient rivals in this series where the weird and the wacky seems to happen with regularity. This is unusual for him this year. And Walsh takes off, tries to find some room to the boundary, hit immediately by big Charles Tapper, the senior defensive end. As much as we talk about Baker Mayfield, to me, it's the offensive line and the running of Pirine is the key tonight for the Sooners. Pirine is to the left of Mayfield. They fake it to him. They fire out to Jarvis Baxter, who's got some space across midfield, shoved out by Jordan Stearns. That time they go after Jordan Stearns in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Got 17 on that play, and now Mayfield shoots near side. Neal makes a catch down near the 25-yard line as he beats Kevin Peterson. It's Mike Stoops telling us that's the key to the whole game. Carson goes in motion. Walsh hit immediately as Matt Diamond penetrated and dropped him. Sooners up pressing those receivers on second and ten. Walsh fires near side and immediately flying up to knock down a child on third down. Sooners showing pressure. Walsh backpedaling delivers into traffic. The catch is made at the 26, but knocked down immediately is Jeff Garr playing for the Big 12 title. Rogan booted away. And Alex Ross at the five. And Ross is free. Cross to midfield, a foot race. Knocked down at the four. That's the kickoff return Oklahoma fans have been waiting all season for. Ross returned a couple for touchdowns a year ago. He hasn't got loose like that all year, though. No, and give the wedge a lot of credit for some great blocks to open this up. This is something you work on and... They fake it to him and throw a touchdown pass. Out of the slot, Sterling Shepard. A senior from Oklahoma City with his 11th touchdown this season. You know, if you're going to go play action down inside the five-yard line, that's a great time because you and I and Glenn Spencer and the defense, they're thinking the same thing. And watch what... And again, had to report in the last series as Walsh was checking a touchdown pass that apparently this is his game tonight. On the reverse, the flea flicker, Walsh looking downfield, throws into coverage, and it's broken up, almost intercepted by Stephen Parker. Sooners ready for that trick play. So Piran with his second carry, bust loose. Sabaji Piran to midfield. They will not catch him. Touchdown, Oklahoma. 68 yards. That's why you gotta feed the big fella. Yeah, that, that's what you're accustomed to seeing from Oklahoma. And I was surprised at how quickly P. Ryan was able to get to the edge. Samaji P. Ryan's coming down the sidelines and Didi Westbrook hustles all the way downfield to pick up that key block to let him get into the end zone. The perils of man coverage on the corner. Yeah. Bailing didn't even know the running back. No, he's got his back him. turned in man-to-man -man coverage. By the time he realized that P. Ryan's coming down the side, he turns, takes a, a peek. And Inside, they get inside striker with Raymond Taylor, but to Mayfield, who had two quick completions to begin the game, only has one since. They need three. He fires complete. That's Shepard, but he's wrestled down very quickly by Kevin Peterson, and the spot will determine whether this is a first down or not. It's two back look. Mixon, his first carry, needs a block from Mayfield, gets one, and is off and running. It's Mixon's turn for a long touchdown for the Sooners. 66 yards. Big play, running attack, with a little help from the Heisman yeah, game in the quarterback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? That's why, what a great run, what an athlete Joe Mixon is to be able to cut this back and keep this play alive. 
but I want you to keep an eye on the quarterback right here. Watch what he does. And watch him, even after the block, what he does. He opens that up right there. I'll tell you, Joe Mixon out in the open field. A deep leading block from the quarterback, yeah, by the way. It, it was amazing. I'm watching him the whole time. I'm thinking, boy, great job here by Mixon. Is the quarterback going to make a block? Boom, he does. But he's not done. He's so excited. Now he's trying to race Mixon, trying to get to the end zone. This is what this team loves about this guy. He wants to be the first one there to celebrate yeah. and let Joe Mixon know how much he appreciates yeah. the whole he, team. He just has the fun playing ball. Yeah, he does. So the Cowboys now, a little urgency here. Rennie Childs, a short gain on first down. Mayfield pressured again, flips it across the middle. Catch made by Shepard, who's got room, and a blocker. And the edge, and is hammered hard at the 40-yard line by Ashton Lampkin, but a nice game. Sterling Shepard could be the best receiver in the country because of everything that he does as a receiver. He's got it again, Kurt. Waits for his blocker. And gets to the 45. Now there's other guys yeah, who are flashier maybe, but why, why do you say he's your favorite? I, I, I think I think he is a professional. They need five here. Cowboys bring pressure. They flip it to Piron. He's got plenty of room and first down easily down inside the 30. The paddle people there trying to make some noise, make it tough for Mayfield on this third and 12. Cowboys twist in front, but this is D.D. Westbrook, a crossing route, one of your room, two downfield blocks, and he's shut down first in goal, Oklahoma. How about the crossing route with D.D. Westbrook who gets the ball? Sooners back in the red zone, trying to really stretch this lead now. Mayfield wide open, that's too easy, Dimitri Flowers. Oklahoma just rolling now. Everything Lincoln Riley calling just about is working. Now hasn't played, but now Kirk, they got to throw the ball, they figure. And Rudolph, short completion to Glidden, who now just drops the ball. No, never had it. Never did complete the catch. Sooner smelling blood. But back off, only rushing three. And almost intercepted. Zach Sanchez made a break on the ball, intended for Seals. Let's see if they pressure Rudolph Kirk on third and ten here. And Stryker got a running start, goes down the pocket, hit the quarterback, and it's intercepted. Jordan Thomas with a convoy to the end zone. <laughs> and the Sooners are smelling blood as Stryker hit Rudolph, and Thomas took the pick to the house. And Thomas gets the interception, but Eric Stryker gets the assist. He's been delaying these blitzes the entire first half. Here he is, waits, waits, and then gets right through Carson, the back. Goes right through and pushes him into the backfield. And I'm not, you know, Mason Rudolph gets hit as he's trying to get rid of that football. But even if he didn't, Thomas in great position all over Aitman, the receiver. See how he's waiting, comes in late. Fake it to him, Mayfield a pump fake, another pump fake, still kept the ball, and he shows his elusiveness. He, maybe not the most explosive guy, but he's got a way of kind of moving his hips and avoiding the tackle. Oh. Mix in motion to the slot, five receivers empty backfield on third and three. Mayfield steps up, takes off, first down, shaking and bacon to the Cowboys, 40. But they've got a good group, and then they can attack into the middle with their running game. There's one to the edge to Shepard. Neal throws a block, and Shepard's down inside the 25, first down. Yeah. He picked up the first down. Beeline on the right side, bounces off a tackle like he does, still going into the end zone. Touchdown, Beeline. <laughs> 25 yards, most of it after contact. This is how Piran does it. Yeah. It's 33 plays, now 41 points. Yeah, watch him run right through the middle linebacker right there. And then the safety takes a poor angle. Yeah, you, you want to keep a track. We talked about before the game, yards after contact with Samaji Piran because he gets through linebackers. Safeties aren't real sure if they want to take him on head-to-head, -head, so they may come in. And they can run, they can throw, and you got a quarterback not turning the ball over, only five interceptions on the year. That, that's a lot to deal with. Walsh on second down, takes a shot again, throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted again by Jordan Thomas. One to the house already, space on the sideline, 
And dropped at the 30. So desperation for Walsh, another takeaway, and this thing is really fitting to get ugly. Now, we, we talked about one-on-one. -on -one. This is just a great technician and Jordan Thomas. Chris, you talked about last year as a freshman, he was picked on. Boy, he has come a long way. Is long and athletic, but now experienced. Great body position. There's no way that Seals can get inside there. And It's a better hold this time. Laces are spun away. Here he comes again. Running start in the face of the quarterback. Walsh had to sidestep it, but that striker just blowing the play up again. Yes. And, and that's what really makes him unique. So in the first half, he matched his total for the whole year. Childs, oh, he tried to bounce it, went backwards, and is slammed down by Devontae Bond. Walsh. Good blockers, but a lot of traffic. Just nowhere to go. Jordan Evans clogged it up. It'll be third down. He'll lose a yard. Walsh from the pocket, batted down. Devontae Bond is in a terrific series here. Broke the pass up. Now it's fourth down. Yeah, he suddenly got broken. Yeah, he, he went to Brandon Shepard, left one on one against Thomas, and he might have had a chance there. But instead, it's the athletic bond. Mayfield trying to get the offense back on track after the three and out delivers a strike across the middle. And the catch made by Shepard. First down it. See him able to just take the rest of the night off. Mayfield flips it to Shepard and gets a block on the edge and darts out first down inside the 45. Thank you, Tom. He's a guy with a high pain threshold, Pirine. And again, the same anchor. Play clock winding down. Mayfield rolls out, has a lot of room. Baker Mayfield. Down inside the 10. Quarterback making all kinds of plays, and he comes up limping at the end. Oklahoma now on third down. Mayfield hesitated briefly, breaks away, and scores. You get a deny Baker Mayfield. Ball, what we've seen the college in the NFL this year. <laughs> so it is a first down. Now they flip it on the end around here to McCleskey, but he's got nowhere to go. And of course, it's Mr. Stryker. You definitely try to go through the air to try to make some big plays. Walsh in third and four, slings it out, and then flying up to make the play is Will Johnson as he drops Carson for a loss. It'll be fourth down. Passer, blocker, runner, and leader. All of it tonight. And now Mayfield to Shepard again on his favorite target. Makes the catch at the 35 first down. Third down and a lot of time to discuss this play and they decided to give it to Mayfield on the keeper and why not? Gets midfield and just slides down in this now wet rug. Couple by Neal. Seibert boots it down there and everything working for Oklahoma tonight. Oh, wow. They just hit it the two and stopped. Wow. Complete team. Yep. Offense, defense, special teams. And with his legacy and what he's done here in these last four years, he'll be a great addition. Carr dropped down. I you know, like Gundy, who played his four years here. At this, at this, this school, what he's been able to achieve. No doubt. Walsh, downfield, has a man, hangs it up, and Washington couldn't collect it. Folks, 6 of 15 and third down. Walsh needs 10. Pump fakes and now fires and it's broken up. Again, closing was Stephen Parker that time. That's a good series for the safety in his fourth down. The winner of the Big Ten championship game and, of course, Clemson and Alabama if they win their championship games. Eroding some of their credibility, but it's been a terrific year for the Tar Heels as Mixon makes a cut, shakes free. And Bulldogs is down to the 41. This is Mixon again. And down at the 35. But a terrific moment as Beamer, he, he, did, he dabbed a little bit. He gets with the line there and celebrated, was carried off the field. His 29th year when he does retire for Baker Mayfield. He's a finalist for the Davy O'Brien Award, which will be awarded at the 
in Deep Bowl Award Show in Atlanta this year for the first time as Mixon bounces it. It's a first down driven out inside the 15. I think the Sooners are phased. Mixon breaking free. Sometimes Bidzer will tell you that, that that noise, which is loud, down the third in the yard, they milk the play clock again. And it's Mixon. Bouncing it. Flag is down. He's knocked out. He ruled a touchdown. We'll check the marker. I think it's offsides by Oklahoma State. Coach Ryan, did he, did he elude this? Woo! Oh! Come on, Mayfield and Trevor Knight, the two quarterbacks, couldn't get their OC. Incompletion. Gatorade next. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. You got Sterling Shepard there. You got Zach Sanchez, Dominic Alexander. Here it comes. Look out. Hit on a swivel. Hey, they got him. <laughs> it's only 25 degrees out. That's got to be a great feeling for Bob Stoops. First contender for this playoff to have their business concluded. Make this a bedlam beatdown to claim the Big 12 championship, their first since 2012. Five and zero this year against teams ranked in the AP top 25. A sweet one for all the veterans and the veteran coach. Shepard, a backflip to punctuate a night that included 10 receptions oh my God. and a touchdown. Be careful. Let's get it. And of course, the talented crew in the truck, Bill Bennell, our producer, Derek Mobley, our director, and everybody who's helped us on Saturday Night Football. For Kirk, Heather, and Tom, Chris Fowler saying so long from Stillwater, the Ford wrap-up show coming up right now with Cassidy Hubbard.